Junior wide receiver John Rice Plumley has always been a part of a team, and when it came to a college decision, he'd do anything to make the squad. From being like, I'll do anything you want to do. Like, I'll, I'll be the water boy, like, I'll return kickoffs, I'll play DB, I'll, I'll play quarterback. If you want me to play left tackle, I mean, like, whatever it's going to be, I'll do it. To being able to kind of choose what you want to do, to, to be able to say, hey, I want to play quarterback, and then now I want to play baseball, too. Really, really neat experience, and I'm definitely getting to, to, to live the dream that I've had as, as a kid, you know, to, to play two sports. As soon as the 2019 football season ended, the fleet-footed wide receiver packed his bags and headed over to Sweezy Field. But before one can officially become a baseball player, you need to notch that first hit. Plumlee 0 for 9 with a couple of runs scored. He does have an RBI. His ninth game to be in so far. Plumlee, a ground ball base hit. Healy's going to stop at third. They'll hold everyone. And career base hit number one for the Ole Miss quarterback and Ole Miss baseball player, John Rice Plumlee. He is officially a baseball player, you know? The, the first one is always the rough one. Remember that. They say good things come to those who wait. And uh, the fruit of the spirit, the fruit of the spirit, one of the, one of the fruits of the spirit is patience. And so I've tried to have patience. And let me tell you something, Wes. We did it. Hey, we have we an, av we have an average now. We I am on the, the team, baseball buddy. team now. JRP has been a baseball player. No, yes! <laughs> we did it. One of the first games of the season he got in, I was sitting with Broker, uh, Jeremy James, Reese McIntyre. We go to leave and we hear that he's into the game. So we're like, oh man, we gotta stay. And here's John Rice Plumley, first time to the plate for John Rice. Swings, it's a fly ball, left center field, first pitch. It's got a chance at the wall, it's gone! John Rice Plumley, first pitch he sees in 2021 is a two-run jack. Give him some showers in right field. And he knew it, David, right off the bat. He looked into the dugout. Absolute bomb, John Rice Plumley. <laughs> Ran an out route. Man, look, let me tell you, it's been a while since I got that feeling. Um, I think it was Wes. He says, what does it compare to, like, a touchdown or something? Um, I think I've most recently scored more touchdowns than I've hit home runs, and so I haven't hit a home run in a while. And so the feeling of hit a home run was just – it's, it's been a while, and uh, it, was, it was a blessing for sure. It was a lot of fun. Thankful the Rebs got it done. Later in the season, making diving catches. Line to right. Plumley, what a grab and a stare into he the fans. This, just got a little he bit louder in right field. with swag. We enjoy going to the games a lot, you know, sitting by first base, seeing him play right field and kind of, you know, saying some things to him, get, some, get the crowd involved, get him involved, you know, he's for the people, so it's always a good time seeing him play. For example, AJ, he just, he just came in here and talked, and Momo, like, uh, they'll come to baseball games and I'll see him up in the stands, and they're just fired up, and it fires me up to see them fired up, you know, and Jonathan Hess and Nick Broker uh, out there in right field, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Plumley back at the track almost, and he makes a catch, tagging from third is Jordan Thompson, he'll score, throw to second, got him! Swung on, little roller, past the pitcher, picked up by the shortstop, he'll throw to first, and it was close, he's safe, he beat it out! People ask me a lot of times, like, which one do you love more? Like, what do you like doing the most? And uh, my answer is like, uh, it's kind of like the same if you ask me, who do you like more, your mom or your dad? Well, sometimes uh, I like my dad more. Well, if I'm in trouble, I definitely like my mom more than my dad. So it's like, uh, it, during football season, I like football, and during baseball season, I like baseball, and so, uh, I love them both. So I think I'm going to go one of two ways. Single, stolen bag, stolen bag. So basically a triple. Or, hear me out, just a double and a stolen bag, triple. Either way, it's good. Let's go! Let's go! Uh, uh, uh. And if you looked at the statistics, he's a part-time player. Uh, he comes in and plays defense late. He's had limited at-bats, all of those things. I think if you asked anyone in uniform or our staff 
to a man, they would all say he is vitally important to our baseball team. The energy that he brings, the teammate that he is, the kid that he is, is really, really important to our baseball team. I've told a lot of people that, but it's real. There is no question that that guy is a winner and, and, a, and a really, really special kid. No matter if it's in the vault or across the street at the baseball field, you always know number 10 is the one having the most fun. Whatever you're rolling today, whether you're Drew, whether you mean the dugout today, sell out. Yeah, You're getting all of me today, yeah, sell out! Yeah, That's what yeah, I want! Yeah, Let's yeah, go get him! Yeah. Rebs on one! Three, two, one! Yeah. He's just really energetic, uh, great teammate, always cheering everybody on, always locked into the game. It's a really good guy to have him to go out. Hey, we ain't halfway done with the game yet. Let's go! Let's go. Keep hitting, yeah, rolling, baby! And to see him out there after how, much, how hard he'd work, and you know, his energy is just contagious. It's awesome to see. This is why you come. Come to the ship, man. You get a little party if you want it. Let's go! We always bring the energy. I love having JR around, man. He's like, he's like a brother. We the running around twins. And we're just running around like, like we did in football. Just running, running around. On the green grass, baby. They call us the running around twins. That's why we just go run around. Run around. <laughs> you want us to run? We'll go out there and run around. We'll do it for you. Just gonna make some friends out there. I'm sure they're gonna ask how my mom is. Yeah, she's doing good. I'll go ahead and tell you. Uh, but yeah, hopefully make some, uh, make some play. For Plumley, the base hits and the touchdowns are cool. But the real treasure is the friendships he's made along the way. For it to work for him in life, uh, relationships are very, very important to him. He tries to sink his teeth into you relationally. That's how it has to work for him. He's in baseball in baseball season with all them. He's here with us, you know, even during baseball season. He's just a great guy. He's a fun guy to be around, you know, easy to talk to, always lifting people up. I think that's why, you know, he has a great relationship on both teams because he's just a great guy. I think he kind of just makes it work just because that's how he is. You know, that's just how he's wired. You know, he kind of makes time for everything, and that's pretty impressive. You know, I think there's really one guy who could really pull off both, you know, with football, baseball, and, you know, the academic work he does. He's a really smart kid, so... Uh, I mean, it just kind of speaks volumes to how he is. He's one of my closest friends, and I think he, I think a lot of people would say that on the team just because he is so good at you know making time for everybody. John Rice is really special. I hope my son grows up to be like him, and I'm not talking, well, I hope so from the athletic ability too, but that's not what I'm talking about. He is a great kid. Blessed is, a, is an understatement. Like, I, I'm so thankful that I, that I have these opportunities, and, and this platform that I'm put on is, is unreal. And first off, I want to give all the glory to God for that, because that is... I, I couldn't do this without him. Like this, this doesn't happen to everybody every day, and it's just something that I'm super thankful for. I'm living the dream that I've that I've dreamed since I was a kid. Like I played where the Super Bowl was played, and then played where the World Series was played. Like, what more can you ask for here? You know what I mean? It's just something that I'm thankful for, and thankful for the opportunity for. Um, and I pray with that uh, with that platform that I've given that that I, I shine a light for for Jesus. That that gives me the opportunity to do so.